Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. We ended the previous video with For that you need to wire up the code in the presentation layer of the application which is main activity. Our DB adapter implementation is ready. Now it is just a matter of wiring up the code in main activity. So let me open the main activity here. Let me create an instance variable of DB adapter. And I also need to have a list of to do's. And this needs to be initialized. To do list adapter is equal to to do list adapter dot get instance and pass the context. In this case, I can just pass this. It will pass the context. And then to do's needs to be initialized to do list adapter dot get all to do's this will basically give me all the to do's that are there in the database now i somehow need to convert it into a string data type so that i can initialize the ui here for that i have written another method called as get to do string representation i will always initialize to do list so that i get the fresh values from the database every time here and then check what is the length of to do's if to do's is not equal to null and to do's dot size greater than zero for each to do item in to do's you can use string builder to construct the string representation of to do's string builder dot append to do dot get id and then to do dot get to do and after that you just want to have a new line character and after this you just return the string builder to string else there are no values in the to do's in that case you basically want to return no to do items so that's it in the on resume method of the method i will set this new list to the ui so set new list this is the text view set text and i will invoke the get to do list string which is basically the string representation of to do items now whenever i click on the buttons i have to do a necessary operation like adding a new to do removing a to do and modifying the to do so let me get started with the add new to do to do adapter dot insert and i need to pass the string if you observe this is the item that i am referring to so edit text new string dot get text dot to string and after the insertion you just want to refresh the ui so for that you can just once again invoke set new list which updates the ui in the same way you can do remove to do to do list adapter dot delete i need to capture the integer that the person enters here it is edit text to do id dot get text dot to string but this needs to be converted into an integer so integer dot parse int pass the string here as the argument and after that refresh ui to represent the new values and now whenever the person clicks on modify in this case i have to capture two things one is the id and new string this will return me id and the string can be captured using edit text new to do dot get text dot to string and to do list adapter dot modify pass the id and the new to do item that you want to update and after that once again refresh the ui so that's it we are ready to test this application now and i have a emulator here let me run this and see what happens so initially you can see that there are no to do items here and let me add a new item here now say call mom this is a new insertion that happened let me add another value call add and if i want to remove something i can just enter the id here that is one and say remove it will delete the item and i can even modify so i can go here enter the id that i want to modify and the new value is call dad on sunday evening and then say modify that updates the ui i'm sure you would be interested in knowing where is this database and can i just parse through the contents of that particular database you can do that you have to just once again go to the android device monitor and if you open the file explorer and go through the folder structure like data slash data and then the package name of the application you will find a folder called as databases and inside the databases you will have to do list dot db this is exactly the name that you had used while creating the database you can just pull this particular file and save it on the desktop copy that sqlite database that you pulled from the emulator into the platform tools folder which contains the sqlite executable file and now now let me open the terminal and navigate to this particular folder so let me write sqlite3 the name of the database here is to do 
please dot db and if you just execute dot schema it will show the structure of the table in that particular database this is exactly the table that we had created when we implemented our db adapter and if you just do select star from table to do here you should be able to see the content of the database which exactly matches this so with this we have basically understood how the database creation and insertion deletion updation and query methods work in android but we are not done yet if you go back to do list db adapter code you will observe that we have not yet implemented the on upgrade method the next video will be all about the discussion of this particular method that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye